Hi, it's Russ from Prodos Expert, and I've got myself a set of the Manny Maraquin plugins from Waves. It's a series of plugins which includes EQ, reverb, delay, distortion, triple D, which is quite a cool plugin, and we'll look at that in a while, and Tone Shaper, which is parallel compression. Uh, so I'm going to look at them all on different parts of this track. You've heard this track before. I've used it on other demos of of uh, plugins that I've uh, done reviews on. So we're going to take a look, a show and tell, and let you know what I think of it. And uh, first we're going to kick off with the EQ. So I've got it on a vocal here. Now if you read through the stuff that uh, Waves uh, send in their manual, uh, they say that this EQ, uh, the frequencies are modelled on favourite hardware that Manny uses, uh, all the different frequencies. And so you have uh, four band, uh, you can turn them on and off using these buttons here, which are quite nice. Uh, you have a a high pass and a low pass filter so you can roll off bottom end and roll off top end uh, then we have frequencies marked here and then the gain so it's pretty conventional in the way it works uh, gain two three and four and frequencies and the the top frequency as well has both shelving and a bell curve which you can choose between the two depending on what you want to do and if you want to put some air in the vocal which is what i'm going to try here uh, then we'd use that so got a vocal going through it let's just play the vocal and uh back a bit in the song to where the vocals kicking off there it is this time tomorrow so it's without my desk will be clear a final paycheck and then what i've used here is some some high pass to get rid of some bottom ends so that's it's it's pretty pretty good actually this it goes all the way up to 750 this time tomorrow so you could use it it's kind of an effect my desk and you could use the top as well a final paycheck sort of radio voice then escorted out of here that's quite nice but no. uh, that's just an aside and, you, and the chance of using that a lot are highly unlikely but just to say that's a, that's a quick way of doing those kind of things is by using the high and the low pass filters they're very nice filters this time tomorrow very smooth so I'm going to roll off my desk will be clear just about there a final paycheck let's try the magic frequency then escorted out of here which is about 5k no written warning just a P45. What's nice is, well, if you see this crossover, so we've got, we've got the eight, it goes down to 800 here, but it goes beyond 800 there, it goes down to 250 here and up to 250 there. And uh, so the crossover in that mid frequency range, which is nice. This time tomorrow, my desk will be clear. And so it's quite high as well, so there's 20k, 25k, paycheck. which is good if I'm mixing some music for my dog. Uh, this time tomorrow, but it's still doing something, of course, my because desk of the will be clear. harmonics involved. A final paycheck. So that's using the shelving. Then escorted out of here. No written warning. So that's just a piece pretty good. Quite nice. Let's try it on a snare drum now. Let's just just come over to the snare drum. My desk will be clear. Let's put it on again. So let's just whack it in there. Part of the song where we've got some snare playing might help uh, further down in the track here. So I think this is going to give me some snare drum here. Let's just play those bars there. You can hear there by using the shelving versus the, the bell curve. That roll off really does work. Let's put some body in that. And we've got an output as well we could use to just make sure that we not thrashing the ass outfit. So you can see it's, it's a very nice EQ. It's it's very smooth, which is nice. Uh, uh, often a lot of EQs in plugins can be kind of have either two things: you're either pushing them and nothing happens, or or they're just incredibly out of control. And this is nice and smooth, and, and the frequency crossover in the middle is very nice and very useful. So let's go to the the second one, which is the reverb, the MMR, and we have uh, halls. Uh, 
plates, chambers and ambience. We have three sizes. We have a reverb amount and a time, a pre-delay. I always love pre-delays and reverbs. I use them quite a lot, which is also nice is that you have a phaser and distortion as well. So you can get some really creative effects. So let's just uh, just bring this uh, vocal in again that we have here. Of my life, but nobody noticed or oh, nobody cared. Just keep your head down. It's called bright space. Don't stop or stare. I'm taught that this happens. It's a bit of pre-delaying. This time of year, it's a corporate shit of my life. But nobody noticed, or nobody cared. It'd be nice in a snare. Just keep your head down. Don't stop or stare. Now the phaser is really nice, let me play it. Distortion 2. So you can get some real thickness in that reverb. So like on the ambit, you get some kind of real nice. Got compression as well there. Let's see that on the uh, guitar. Where's the guitar? There we go. Let's just lose the drums for a minute. Take those off. Some nice presets as well. For now, I'm just going to load the bright space and use it on several parts of the track. Take a back off that guitar. So there's the reverb. Let's go to the delay. The delay is very nice. Uh, we've got it here. And I've been trying it on another electric guitar. I'm going to hit the middle of this song where I've got a, a little bit of mute guitar going on. Shake down. So what we have is we have a delay that uh, is stereo. You can lock them together or you can break that link. So what I mean by link, if we have it on on, now both the delay times are exactly the same, but often I'd like to send one to one side at one delay time and one to the other side at another delay time. The great thing is we can either use host BPM or we can use it in milliseconds instead. It's entirely up to you. We've got a high pass and a low pass filter and we can link those as well. And then we have a dry and a wet signal. We have a verb, a distortion, a doubler, and a phaser built in. And it's really, really nice. So let me show you a couple of things. Turn the link off for a second, and we will. Get a nice kind of analog sound out of that. Detune it. reverb in there at the moment. Distortion. And phaser. Do some really cool effects as you can see. I love the doubler effect. It 
So you can see you can really take that somewhere if you want. You can make it very thin as well instead. Some really nice guitar sounds you could get with that. Of feedback as well, and output and input, and a left and right or stereo option for the output. So that is the delay. Moving on, actually, is the distortion, and we'll stay on that same guitar track. And the distortion is uh, has got some really nice features on it. And so I'm just going to turn off the delay for a second and the send to it. Bring the bring. First thing I like is we've got a direct level and a distortion level so we get kind of parallel we can bring the distortion we can mix the distortion and the clean and sometimes you're left with just the distortion especially when you're using it as an insert so there's the original and there's the distortion now the next thing as well is this attack and release uh, depending on how you set this uh, at first glance you might think it's something such as a transient process so it's not what it does is it it decides when the uh, the drive is going to come in and when it's and how long it's going to stay about once it's in the actual distortion sound which is which is very useful so if you want something that's very intense just take the level you'd put it there but if you want it coming later on in the smoother front end Then, to the same degree, there's release time as well. If you want to have more distortion on the tail, you can do that. Or just have a very tight uh, distortion. Then we have uh, EQ here. Love that it's got a low pass filter. The problem I have with, with most plugins that do distortion is they sound very, very. Uh, just very scrapey and and just very they just don't sound very nice they sound just just very tranny so so having this low pass filter that kind of thing i mean pull that back a bit push the mid in if you want to put some direct back in as well you can So a very useful uh, distortion. Of course, you could use it on vocals or drums or anything really on loops. Uh, so that's that's very nice too. Uh, moving on, we're going to the sort of less conventional stuff now as well. We're going to the triple. Uh, where have I put that? The uh, yes, this is the the the, the uh, triple D as they call it. Uh, and what this allows you to do is to basically do some things like D-box or D-harsh or DS. I like the way they've said that. Uh, often we use terms in, in audio that uh, for those that are just getting into it, don't, just don't get it or uh, just it's easier to understand D-boxy. So this is a really cool uh, system that allows you to, to clean up things. So I've got it on this vocal here. Let's go back in the track again. This time tomorrow, my desk will be clear. A final. And the nice thing is, as well, you can have a listen. You can do this listening device to hear what you're actually doing. This time tomorrow, my desk will be clear. A final page. So that's the amount. Then a scarred out of here. No written warning. Just a P45. That's kind of sound I want to get rid of. Take it back a bit. My trouble's just starting. It's the story of my life. Now, if you remember before, this is the this is the vocal I've I've put the new EQ on, so I could just check use the deesser and check that I that I can clean that up, to clean up the the deessing as well. So I can come up here, listen to. This time tomorrow, my desk will be clear, a final paycheck, then escorted out of here, no written warning. See what we're getting there. My troubles just starting. It's the story. There we are. That's the frequency I want. But nobody noticed. 
Oh, nobody cared. Just keep your head down. It's cool that reverb as well. Don't stop or stare. I'm taught that this happens this time of year. So you see we cleaned up some of that bottom end. It's a corporate shakedown. This time. And then we also have the uh, the band patch up. This time tomorrow. Option as well, where we can turn them off. My desk will be clear. The bypass option. A sorry, about the bypass. Final paycheck. Then it's scarred out of here. Let's the D harsher as well. No written warning. Just a P forty five. My troubles just starting. It's the story of my life. But nobody noticed. Pull it back a bit more. Oh, nobody cared. Just keep your head down. Don't stop or stare. So you can vary the amount of them. I thought that this happens this time of year. And if you're subtle, it's a corporate shake. Just some really cool stuff. So if, you, if you're not careful, you end up with huge holes in your EQ. So you just be, need to be subtle when you do it. This time tomorrow. But very useful for vocals. My desk will be clear. So go back to that vocal now. A final paycheck. Here's the original. Then it's scarred out of here. No written warning. Says the EQ. Just a P45. And the triple D added in. My troubles just starting. So very nice. It's the very useful. Of my life. But nobody noticed. Or nobody cared. Just keep your head down. Don't stop or stare. I'm told that this happens. This time of year. It's a corporate shape. Now the final one is the tone shaper. So I'm going to go on the bass here and show you that on the bass. And this is parallel compression uh, with over four frequencies. And uh, apparently there's some secret ingredients added as well. Kind of Uncle Ben's plug in this. Uh, so we've got low, low, mid, high, and high, mid, and high. And we can turn them on and off. We've got the direct coming through here. And then what you can do, so we can... This is a selectable frequency here. Turn that off. Turn them all off for a second. There's the original. Just gonna add some bottom end in there. Or the mid. I wanna add some sort of then high and again selectable frequencies I say I like the bottom end on it that's a really nice bottom end I'm gonna pull that mid back again so that's what we're doing with the parallel compression want to put some just just some character into that bass and then add the original back in if I want Let's smooth that up a bit more actually yeah I like that see that in track this time of year it's a corporate shakedown and again, as ever, you can use the output control to just this time tomorrow, my desk will be clear. check your levels. So there we go. All of the plugins, one, two, three, four, five, six plugins within the series. And well worth a download, well worth a demo. Uh, that's a full show and tell. Comes with a complete user manual. I've just given it a quick glance, as you could probably tell. Uh, but uh, pretty straightforward, pretty intuitive to use as well. And as I say, some really good things in there that are well worth checking out. The distortion for me is one of them. The triple D is another. The delay. Uh, so, on, and, and even the reverb having things like the phaser and the distortion built in as well. And the tone shaper. So, so it's it's not more of the same with just somebody's name on it. And I think uh, some of the fear for some people sometimes when they, they look at uh, these kind of signature series plugins is it's just the same old plugins repackaged. Uh, and I like that they've taken some time, taken some thought and some consideration, being creative with the plugins as well. So I think they're well worth checking out. Well done, Waves, for another great plugin series. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.